What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Red River Aviation. Hope you guys have a fantastic day today and today we have a very special airport update for you guys. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video and I'm going to begin this video with just a little bit of explaining. So as I'm sure you guys have seen, I typically do not do airport updates that are not on the monthly schedule. But for today's video, we do have a very special collaboration video. I thought it would be an awesome time to do a one-off airport update for this collaboration. So today we're going to be doing an airport update of Providence TF Green Airport located in Rhode Island. Today's video will be featuring Mile High Aviation. Mile High Aviation has been making content for three or four years now and has an awesome YouTube channel with over 3,000 subscribers. He makes model airport updates, trip reports, some flight simulator videos, and a variety of other videos. I'll let him introduce himself here. Hello everybody, I am Mile High Aviation. I would like to thank Red River Aviation for letting me join in on today's video and I hope you guys do enjoy. I would like to say as a side note that I have my own YouTube channel all about model aviation content, um, pretty much trip reports, everything aviation, so if you'd like to subscribe, I would deeply appreciate that. Let's start off the video with some history about the airport. So yeah, everybody, with all that being said, we are going to begin with this Providence Airport update. We will begin with a little bit of history about the airport, like Mile High Aviation said. Providence TF Green Airport is the main airport for Providence, Rhode Island. The airport opened in 1931 and was named Theodore Francis Green Memorial State Airport in commemoration of Rhode Island's governor and long-term senator Theodore Francis Green. The airport was also the first state-owned airport in the United States of America. The airport has a very interesting history as it opened in 1931. During the early years of the airport, the Army Air Force had control over it. There were around two dozen daily flights in 1957, and Air Force One touching down multiple times in the 1970s. There are two concourses at the main terminal. The South Concourse has 8 gates and the North Concourse has 14 gates. Gates 7 and 8 are international gates equipped with custom facilities. The current day Providence has many carriers as we will cover throughout this video. The airport is also home to the NFL's New England Patriots, Boeing 767-300, as they are one of the few teams to have their own themed aircraft, as the New England Patriots stadium is less than an hour away from PVD. TF Green's website goes into lots of detail for a Patriot fans about commercial flights to away games. Cargo and general aviation also go very strong as there is a main ramp on the north side of the airfield. I want to thank Aviation 18 and everybody else who has done these history segments on their airport updates. Credit to them as they were the inspiration for today's history segment on Providence. Nevertheless, it is time to get started with this Providence airport update. I hope you guys enjoy and we will begin. All right, everybody, let's get this Providence Airport update underway. The majority of it will be reflected from February 2021 with a couple exceptions that we'll get into late in the update. But we will begin down here with the American Airlines section. So let's begin with this American Eagle Ember Ear Day-175, currently loading up passengers with service out to Chicago O'Hare International Airport. Right here we have a American Eagle Embraer E-170 filling in for a 175 with normal winglets coming in from Charlotte on the earlier flight. Next up, we have this American Airlines Airbus A320 with IAE engines currently loading up with service out to Charlotte Dulles International Airport on the later flight. Right here, we have a American Eagle Embraer ERJ145 coming in from Philadelphia. Next in line, we have this Frontier Airways Airbus A320neo. This is Georgia the Painted Bunny currently loading up passengers now Frontier has a very unique operation out of Providence with four Florida destinations with service year-round to Miami and Orlando and seasonal service to Fort Myers and Tampa so a very interesting operation a lot of other airlines in the airport have very similar Florida operations as we'll get into later in the update but for this particular Frontier example he arrived in from Fort Myers and he's gonna be heading out to Miami right here we have United Express ERJ 170 coming in from Newark. Normally United uses gates 7 and 9 at the current time, however, since we have a frontier at gate 7, they will use gate 9. Next up we have this United Express Bombier and ACRD-200 with service out to Washington Dulles International Airport. Very interesting operation here for United as I'm sure you can tell. JetBlue has a large operation out of PVD. Year-round flights to Fort Lauderdale, Fort Myers, Orlando, Tampa, and West Palm Beach, mainly on their Airbus A320s, and some of their ERJ-190s as well. 
Here is a Airbus A320 in the blueberries tail with the fence tips coming in from Fort Lauderdale and will be heading out to Fort Myers. Next up, we have this JetBlue Airways Airbus A320 in the iHeart New York paint scheme. This guy just came in from Orlando and he's going to be heading out to West Palm Beach. Now, Delta Airlines is currently not flying to Providence TF Green Airport at the current time. However, they are supposed to return very soon with Boeing 717 flights to Atlanta. So I decided to throw them in down here at their normal gates around 16 to 18. So right here, we have this Delta Airlines Boeing 717-200 currently loading up and he's going to be heading out to Atlanta. Delta Airlines normally has uh, quite a few flights with uh, serving their main hubs with Atlanta, Detroit, and Minneapolis, St. Paul will be beginning on May 28, 2021 as of right now. Allegiant also has a seasonal presence at Providence with service to Cincinnati, Myrtle Beach, and Porta Guarda. Here is a Allegiant Airbus A321 doing a turnaround flight out to Porta Guarda. Just like Delta, Sun Country has not been flying to Providence as far as I know, but they normally do have seasonal service with service out to Minneapolis, St. Paul, and I thought it would be nice to add them in here uh, for the one-off airport update. So right here, we have a Sun Country Airlines Boeing 737-800 in the Tide Pod 1 livery, currently loading up passengers with service out to Minneapolis, St. Paul. Here we have a Southwest Boeing 737-700 Canyon Blue livery coming in from Baltimore and will be heading out to Chicago Midway. Here is a Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 in the Louisiana One livery coming in from Washington National and will be heading out to Tampa. Both of these services are very limited due to the pandemic. And then right here we have Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-800 in the heart livery. Southwest has a very interesting operation out of Providence. Uh, this particular example we're going to say is heading out to a Baltimore and just for the sake of the airport update we'll just say that it's heading out to Chicago Midway. Now uh, quite a few flights have had very interesting frequencies at the current time. Southwest Airlines normally has year-round service to Baltimore, Chicago Midway, Fort Lauderdale, Orlando, Tampa, and Washington Reagan with seasonal service to two more Florida cities, Fort Myers and West Palm Beach. And here is a FedEx Boeing 757-200 heading out to Memphis. As of the time we are recording this, the Northeast had a huge snowstorm, so the de-icing trucks are being heavily serviced. Alrighty, everybody. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's airport update. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, Providence is a super cool airport, as you can tell. And I hope you guys enjoyed this glimpse of Providence that we were able to showcase today. Once again, I want to give a huge thank you to Mile High Aviation. I'll let him say some closing words now. I'd like to thank Red River Aviation so much for letting me be a part of this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Once again, if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would appreciate that a ton. And make sure to subscribe to Red River Aviation as well. Thank you for having me and goodbye from me. So nevertheless, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's update. Please consider checking out and potentially subscribing to Mile High Aviation as he makes some awesome aviation content. And I really enjoyed doing this collaboration today. Collaborations are so much fun and I really enjoyed doing it with Mile High Aviation today as that's what the community is all about. We also did an airport update over on his channel. So if you'd like to go check that out, the link will be in the description, the pinned comment, and also the end card. But nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoyed today's airport update, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy, guys. Stay safe. Trust the process. Us, do what you love and love what you do. My name is Red River Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon as Red River Aviation is signing 